Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to quickly work with the module. Um, here we need to jet, let's just stop the server, Django admin start app, let's call it module. Okay, um, see, we got it, let's close all of these for now. Okay, so let's start right away. Let's run Django that country that of models import user. Okay, class module stands for model here. First field will be title. Oops. Okay, so title will be models that um, okay, char field, put a mass length of um, 50. And user will be models that are in E. User beat model that cascade, and then let's put related name. This is for the module, but let's just put module owner. Okay, so now let's put the hours. Positive integer field. Okay. I like this. Oops. Let's add the string function here. Self this. This will return the self title. Okay, we got that now. Oh, first we need to add this app to the, to the install apps module. Save. Now we can make migrations. Okay, um, let's create a new file. Let's create the forms. Okay, so from Django in forms and from module models, let's import Um, module. Okay. Um, yeah. So, new module form. Forms that model form. So here we put title will be forms that are field. Let me see, we can just copy. Um, just copy this one. Paste it here and paste it here. So this is for the. This one and this one's for hours class meta will be model oops fields Okay, let's close that. See, 
Um, we got the forms. Now let's, oops, not those views. Okay. Now in the view, um, let's import from module that form for the new module form and from module that models. Is in for module. Okay. Um. What else? Um. Yeah. So far now. So now new module. this will take the request and as we are then adding the module to a course so let's take the course id so we can get the course and let's go to oops let's copy um let me see okay let's copy this Let's import get object or 404. Redirect to. So as we are, um, as I said, as we're adding the module to a course, we need to get the course, course to basically add the new um, module there. Okay, so now um, let's get the user to request that user. Um, oops. Okay. If request that method equal post form will be new module form. Take a request. Oops. Request post. Um, if form that it is solid and title form dot clean underscore data get get the title in um hours Form plain data get hours. Okay, now let's put in created. Basically, the we're we're going to use um we're going to use get or create. So we need two here because when it's created, it will assign it here. In this variable and then here create it will assign true if it's created it will assign it like a boolean this will be a boolean called like true so that's what we need to here so module object oops objects that get or create so basically here let's say you have your module object all right in this in the first variable and then here let's say that it's created if it's created we'll say true that's what you're getting in this too okay get or create um title will be um title hours and then user user okay so now we can call course that is up here. We can call it and that if you go to, um, oh, we haven't added yet. Perfect. So, um, so now in curve, let's copy this one. Okay. Then let's paste it here and then let's call this one modules so we are creating a like a many to many uh, 
view of modules so we can like add them so modules and then we need to import c okay here so from module models let's import module okay then here module Remember, this is in the classroom, uh, like models. We added the new field, the new, like many to many field module. We save that and um, let's comment this up here. Okay, like now we added a new field. So we need to run the migrations. And then let's migrate. Okay. So now we can continue. <laughs> so now curse that modules that add, and then we add a new object here, M, that we created here. So M, that's the, like the module object that we just created. We are adding it to the modules, okay? So after we add it, we have to save course, okay? We, don't, we have to save it, okay? So save and then yeah. So after that, we redirect the user to modules. This is a new URL that we don't have it yet, but we will create. So um, so um, we have to pass the curse ID to the URL. So yeah, and let's go. Here else form if it's not valid, let's just write down the new module form again. Context form form turn render request. We don't have a jet. We don't have the uh, the templates, but we will we are going to name it new module.html and then we pass the context. Um this is the template we haven't created, we are going to create, it, but okay. So um here let me check, I think. Um yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's import HTTP response forbidden. Um, let's, what is the, let's copy okay, here. Because we don't, we don't want an user like creating like a new module for it. Okay. Okay, here we need to push this a little bit more. Kind of like here. Like that. Okay, save. Um, okay, perfect. Let me see. Let's run the server. Let me see if it's not crashing. Okay, it's not crashing. Um, okay, we got the new module here. Now let's create the, the course modules, right? For course modules and request. And of course, the course, course ID, okay. Um, Let's get the user. Um, teacher mode. This is sad anymore because um, in the modules we we want to add like three buttons. Uh, we want to add the add page and add, add quizzes. So we need to see if the teacher 
it's locked to show those buttons to the teacher. So that's why that's why I kind of just the same thing that we did with the in the classroom here, the announcements. We're just doing the same thing. That's why we, I put the teacher mode. Okay, let's get the course. Um, and here. Actually, let me put this here. If user equals the curves that user, that's the person that created the curves, so it means that it's the teacher. The teacher mode equals. Um, but yeah, um, see, context, arm, okay, let's copy this one. modules we haven't created a object but we will so okay um okay we got that and we need to create the urls for those views that we just created we can go here we're going to add um, like those modules, I mean, those URLs here. Okay, so now go here from module that views, let's import. Let me see, I forgot. Let's copy and paste. And Over here, let me add a comment. Um, put modules. You kind of like know. Then here we add um, for the curse ID modules. Then we pass course modules. Comma name, um, let's name it modules, <laughs> and then here, let's copy comma. Okay, let's put new module here, new module, um. Let's put modules slash new module. Okay, perfect. So we got the mo uh, the mo the models for the module, the URLs and the views. We added the U the URLs. So in the next video, we're going to uh, work with the template. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.